Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My today's Red Dead Redemption video is about a minor character. Her name is Miss Majori XX. Why XX at the end, I don't know. It might be a Roman numeral, supposedly 20. I found it in a letter she gave to Arthur. She initiates the stranger's side mission, the smell of the grease paint. Miss Majori is a theatre performer and works with Bertram and Magnifico. Bertram's most recognizable feature is his largely deformed head and sizable ears and nose and has no hair other than a small ponytail on top of his skull. He is very tall, also known as pin-headed character. Magnifico is a dwarf magician. At one point in his career, he renounced the contract signed by himself and Miss Majori. However, he eventually saw the error in his way after being persuaded by Arthur and confronted by Majori herself. Arthur finds Majori and Bertram in the Van Horn Salon with Bertram crying over Magnifico's disappearance. After a small fight between Arthur and Bertram, the two will beg Arthur to find Magnifico. Everything okay? Imagine saving people, taking them to your breast, and metaphorically I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stop. Dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little <coughs> tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. <coughs> oh, fuck it, he... <coughs> no, Bertram, Bertram, Bertram! Woof, woof, Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something, he'll eat him. Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Bertram! Easy, big guy. That don't hurt! Stop! Me! Bertram got a whoopsie! Think about what you're doing here. Morning. Come here, Bertram. <laughs> Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off. To, hmm? Bertram promised. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Arthur will find Magnifico near outpost, but eventually Majori and Bertram will appear in the location and Majori confronts Magnifico related to the show and contract. She was last seen when the trio leave, heading to their next show in St. Denis. 
She's a witch! She's a witch! Who? Presta! Well, Marjorie. she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah! Stay away from me. Hey, Barney, Barney so. come back here. Where are you running off? Obscura! She just wants to speak to you. Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? Ha 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 ha. Shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed your brother. So you are going to be pulling rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Ah, oh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, Please. I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye-bye. What I done to deserve you two? After I ended the show, Magnifico undressed Miss Majori. Perhaps it was the part of the show. Finally, Arthur was rewarded with a part of the share for that show and $40 with a letter of gratitude. And that is the final time he communicates with the player. Well, hello, Sandy! <laughs> smart as he looks. <laughs> but what he lacks in brain, he makes up for him wrong. Ooh. Our half-witted Hercules is as strong as a bull. Ooh. He's sweet, isn't he? You, sir, would you assist? Me? No, yeah. Come on up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get out of there. Let's see it. <laughs> oh, I want you ah, to look at that big guy! Right in the bread basket. Go on, give him a real big suck. I don't know. Ah, oh, the only Do danger it. is breaking your arm. What are you afraid of? 
Ah, come on! Come on. Do it! Do it! Oh, all right. What kind of a two-bit show is this? Your freak nearly killed me! No, 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 no! no. the Magnificent, and I have tamed the beast. Drop him! Hey. Ha -ha. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Magnifico the Magnificent, am a master of apparition! Oh my God. And dissipation! And even the art of <laughs> transfiguration. <laughs> Oof. I have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now for my next feat. I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her for this Robio! What are you doing, you nasty little pervert? What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show! You're not like that, you're not! I give up! Amateurs! I'll try to play this mission as John soon, if available, and let you know if I find anything different. Till then, please enjoy my other videos and the character playlist. Link shared in the description box below. That's all from my video. I have to share with you. I hope you like it. Please comment below if you want me to try something different or missed anything here. As always, I love you guys. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, thank you for watching.